It was back in October 2012 when Channel 4 sent out an all-points bulletin to Time Team staff announcing that after 20 series and over 230 programmes, Time Team was finally being axed. Time Team fans across Britain and indeed the world were horrified to learn that a cult archaeological series with such a great reputation was being scrapped by Channel 4. Yes. 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 But in September 2006 I was joined by Tony Robinson and the Time Team over in Warburton in Cheshire to dig a Roman site that I'd been researching for some 10 years. The programme was to be broadcast in the 2007 series in a programme called No Stone Unturned. Archaeologists believe they've discovered a Roman fortlet, but then not all the finds are military and the site covers over 250 years of activity. So what was going on here at Warburton? We've got just three days to find out. Phil Harding, this is what the last down site here today, is that right? Yeah, the end of uh, three days of hard graft, I hope. <laughs> I've seen you tearing about a bit. What have you discovered? Well, it, it, it's interesting. I mean, we came here with this this um, project to, to re-examine whether or not there was a small Roman fort here. There was a bunch of um, local archaeologists who thought that they had really good evidence for a small Roman fort. And so we wanted to come here and uh, see whether we could find that. And also to 
try and place it into context, uh, a whole load of metal working fines that have been coming up from, from metal detecting. And I think in both counts, we've, we've, we've got answers. What answers have you got? I'm not going to tell you all the answers. We're going to have to see the programme, aren't we? <laughs> Um, suffice it to say that um, I think probably I'll give you 50% of the answers. Uh, we haven't found the fort, but it, it, there are some interesting reasons why it's not there, and I think it, it's it's a very um, it's a very important lesson to anybody who does archaeology that, that basically the geology can sometimes play very very nasty tricks on you, and archaeology, like everything else, is is very much a a science of experience and learning and, and what have you. Although I would never in, uh, discourage anybody from getting involved with it, sometimes it needs a more perhaps experienced eye and a little bit more um, knowledge, and just to put an alternative interpretation on what people have found. As the last ever regular Time Team programme was screened just a few weeks ago on Channel 4, does this mark the death knell of Time Team for good? Certainly not. Fans across Britain and the world are launching campaigns and petitions to keep the programme going and try and get it recommissioned by Channel 4 or indeed another channel. Did you put in the long jump, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony, but you know you were saying that we weren't going to get any fines? Yes. Well, look at this. Hey, have we got something? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this? Yes, I know. <laughs> well, yeah, but it took us all morning to find that. <laughs> oh, wow. Really, on day one have I ever seen such a cornucopia of finds. <laughs> what, what would they have been from then, Francis? I'm reliably informed it's from um, Cheshire Plains Ware or something like that. Uh, it's what? Roman, man of Britain. It really is, you're not taking the bit. Well, I know, that's what, that's what uh, Mike told me, yeah. So, what shape would that pot have been, Francis? Um, well, large storage jar, about that high on the If you'd like to add your support to Save Time Team, then why not check out the Facebook and Twitter addresses at the end of this film and sign up and get the petition over to Channel 4. My name's James Balm, TV presenter for history, bringing history to life.